everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you how I make beef brisket. Okay, first we're going to clap. Are you ready to clap? Okay, here we are again. You can see me. Grass-fed beef. The tripod. Thank you for being careful. Good job. Yeah, there's chickens on there, huh? Chickens. Cut, 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 cut. Add potatoes to that. So this is a really, really easy recipe. It's one of those kind of throw it together early in the day, and then later on when you're about ready to eat dinner, make a few sides to go with it, and it's done. So let's jump in and get started. So I have my beef brisket here. This is part of our whole beef that we like to get from Prairie Opal Ranch. I've talked about them in another video. If anybody's local, they're a wonderful resource for grass-fed beef. If you're not local, I also have links for other resources down in the description box for great places to buy grass-fed beef as well. This one is about four and a half pounds. And usually the rule of thumb is at the temperature that I'm gonna be using in the oven, about 30 to 40 minutes per pound. I like to go even longer than that. I usually like to start this around late morning and have it go six hours or so, but at least 30 to 40 minutes per pound is a good rule of thumb to follow. And I'm gonna be baking this in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to be using my trusty cast iron Dutch oven. It's the thing that I love for all of my long, slow cook times in the oven. So I'm just gonna start by adding this to the Dutch oven. Next, I'm just going to season the brisket with salt and pepper to taste. And then I'm going to add my lid and then it's going to go into my 250 degree Fahrenheit oven, which I am turning on now. And that's really it for the most part. As Soon as my hands are free, I'll stick that in the oven. And then after that, you have a couple of different options for adding barbecue sauce. So this can be a homemade barbecue sauce that you mix up. I have a recipe for that, which I'll link down below. Also, it could be an all natural barbecue sauce that you buy that doesn't have additives. There are some good options out there for that. Either way, around the last 30 to 45 minutes of cooking, you can remove the lid add your barbecue sauce and then put it back into the oven for another 30 to 45 minutes. Or you can do what I do since he's not really eating barbecue sauce yet and I want him to be able to have some, is to just keep it without barbecue sauce for the entire cook time and then add barbecue sauce as you're serving it for the people who want it. So a couple of different options depending on what your needs are for how different people are eating in your family. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven, like I said, when my hands are free, and then when we're ready for the next step, I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, we have to put you over here so we can open the oven and put this in, okay? Okay, the cooking time is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the brisket out of the oven. And like I explained, we opted to do the version where you don't finish it with barbecue sauce. So we'll just add that as we're serving it for those of us who want it. But now it's ready to just slice and enjoy. While it was finishing up the cook time, I did go ahead and prep a couple sides to go with it. So I have some coleslaw, carrot coleslaw that I like to make. It's just like regular coleslaw, but it uses only shredded carrots. And then I quickly whipped up a homemade dressing to go with that. That's mayonnaise, a little bit of maple syrup. You could also do honey if you wanted to, some celery seed, salt and pepper to taste, and apple cider vinegar. So had that in the refrigerator. It's always best, I think, when it's allowed to sit for a while. And then I sliced up potatoes that I'm going to cook in my deep fat fryer that has beef tallow in it and then serve those alongside.
All right, I hope that you enjoyed coming along to see how I make beef brisket. Be sure and check out that description box for links to free eBooks and lots of other goodies. I have some brand new meal plans that I've just come out with, so be sure and check out that description box for links to those. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.